Hi, I'm Angie Homley zabo and I'm here today partnering with NASCO Education to show you a few different colored pencil techniques. I'll be using their new colored pencils, which are a really low price point for teachers and students to work with, but still have the quality to do a lot of different really fun things. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really fun technique called embossing. So embossing is pushing into a surface to kind of create an indent. I have these tools that I think are originally made to work with like an air dry clay or um, a Sculpey type clay. I use them a ton in my ceramics class. They have little spheres right at the end um, of different sizes. These are nice because I can push it into the paper and not rip the paper. I tried it with this tool, which is made for engraving. Um, it was just a little bit too much of a tooth at the tip and it ripped my paper. So all you do to emboss is find kind of a smooth tool. It could be so many different things. Um, you're gonna push it into the paper, and I know you can't really see what I'm doing here right now, but you'll see it in a moment. Um, you can even have little, I'm pushing down right now, and just kind of creating like a dotted surface. And then if you come over that surface with the colored pencils, the colored pencil tip does not go down into the surface, and it reveals what's embossed behind it. So you can see in this one here that I already completed, I've layered things up, um, I've added some depth and kind of played with that surface. And then the harder you push with that tip, the more you're going to see the embossed surface underneath. On this leaf, what I did first is I laid down a layer of light green, and then I came in and I embossed on top of that light green. And I have to tell you, it's a little hard to see where the lines are when you do this on the color, but I'm gonna emboss on top of that the veins and then when I come on top of that with a different color, the light green is going to show through and create kind of a delicate vein structure, something that would be more difficult to do if I was drawing, trying to not, if I drew that light green line and then I came in with this dark green around it, it would be really easy to lose that light green line. Um, I also want to note that I'm working on a watercolor, a hot pressed watercolor paper, so there's a little bit more thickness Embossing is not going to work on a really thin drawing paper or um, a really thin sketchbook paper. There's just not enough thickness to hold that embossed structure. Um, so I would encourage you, if you want to do embossing, use a little bit heavier weight drawing paper or use um, a watercolor paper. You can see that works really nicely. On my pair, and I'm not sure it's really subtle, on my pair here, you can see lots, there's lots of little white dots all over that that I embossed prior to going in and layering and building the color of the pair. I also want to point out, again, because it's such an important part of colored pencil, how many layers of color exist in this pair. You can see there's yellows and oranges. There's three or, no, four different colors of green, a little bit of orange. I've also gone in and added an edge to the orange, or to the orange. This is a pair, folks. I've added an edge to the pair um, to bring that out a little bit. But between all those layers and the embossing, you're starting to get some really interesting um, outcomes. And I could see somebody embossing a whole page with just designs and going in on top of it and coloring it. It's really a satisfying and fun technique. I hope you enjoy it.